Hey guys, grab a cup of coffee, hot chocolate, cozy up, because this is a long one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality, and today this is Valentine's Crafting video number three. And if you haven't seen the first two, I made this really cool card. I made some tags. I made this, these two Valentine wallets. And I have a tutorial on these too. Um, so yeah, I made these and they were really fun to make. So if you'd like to see those videos, I'll have a link down below. I'm using the, the same paper for the craft today. And this one is a little folio and I used dies. These are from a website called Life's Crafts. And I'll just show you the ones that I received here. They are metal dies as well. So there is this heart and it cuts out the heart from a paper to make a frame and then you have the inside heart to use as well. And so that's what I used on this one. And then there is this die that says, I love you. These items, let's see, I did use, I tried to use as much as this as I could. So I used this one. It is a little treat, tag treat die. So it made this little treat box, if you can see that. I just glued it to the inside here. So I could stick like a, some candy in there, a gift card, ephemera, whatever. Um, but you could use it and just make it separate and just hand it out like as a little Valentine treat. So this one comes with the tag box die and then two little ovals to make like a, you know, extra embellishment on the front. And then this set has some really fun dies in it. So it has a coffee cup, a mug with a little banner that can go on the side. These were all together, but I just pulled apart the ones that I wanted to use for this project. So this is all, you have to use wire cutters and cut all these little pieces, but that makes like a cup a cup of coffee with like the the steam coming out the top and like the foam and then there's also some more little like cream or like whipped cream pieces that you can put on top there is a piece a die that says coffee and then this die which i used on this project that says you and me i'll show you how so it's that right there that's what that cuts and then there's two more hearts on this one so that comes with that set and then the last set that I received from them I did not use in this project because it's for Easter so this one is really cute it has a circle die on the outside and then it has a little bunny with some flowers and leaves on the side all right, for this folio, it is kind of like a little book with a flap. And so how I made this, you will need some paper. I used this Better Together from, my, from Michael's. It was from a couple years ago, but you can use whatever paper collection that you have. And then I also have coordinating cardstock for the base. So I just have this pink. So what you want to do, using a scoreboard, let me pull out here a little bit so it's easier for you to see. I have a piece that is six inches, or six inches by ten and three quarter inches. And what we want to do is score it at four inches.
and then four and three quarters, eight and three quarters, and nine and a quarter. Okay, so that's, well, save this. You'll wanna use that to crease, but that's all you have to do for the scoring on this piece. <clears throat> so now I am just going to be folding these all in, creasing them down. just went ahead and corner round corner rounded all of my corners that were open just go around and do that this is totally optional I just like the look of it okay so now that is your basic part of this your base of this little folio now it's just basically decorating. So let's go ahead. I have this piece here. I cut it a quarter inch shorter on each side. So five and seven, five and three quarters by three and three quarters. So it would leave a little tiny border. And I'm going to corner around this. And this will just glue down. I like using tacky glue because it holds really well and it's inexpensive, but you can use whatever you have in your stash or whatever whatever you like using in your paper crafting. And then I cut a piece that's an inch by three and three quarters. All these, I, all these pieces now are completely optional just decorating this however you want on the front. Let's see, and then I have some rickrack that I want to put down, so I'm just going to cut it at four inches. Oops. So this paper has glitter on it, and you just have to hold it down a little bit longer to get it to stick, which is inevitable with glitter cardstock but I do recommend using tacky glue with glitter cardstock because nothing really a liquid glue at least but a strong liquid glue because otherwise it won't stay down all right that goes there and then I have two little hearts and I had used the I love you die here to get these two hearts and I'm just going to stick those two down there and another one here alrighty and then to get my heart that I have here that was using this die. It's kind of like a stitched scalloped heart die. And what I did was on the back I made this pocket and I cut it out of the piece that I was using for the pocket and left that plain. I added some acetate in there to make a clear pocket. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this and I'm going to cut out 
this on this piece of paper. On my Sussex here. If you're worried about your dye or your paper moving when you're using the Sussex, you can use washi tape to tape it to your paper. I think I'm going to be okay with this because my I just replaced my Sussex. the plate because <laughs> it broke. Alrighty, so I've got that cut. Makes a really nice frame there. And when we get to the back of the book, you'll see how I make the pocket out of that. Alrighty, so now the last piece on the front here is just to stick down this heart. Some glue and there is our front cover okay so I also put a piece of paper on the outside spine here and I made it a half of an inch so it would leave a little border around so I'm just go ahead and stick that down And then on the back, I glued in my ribbon, the ribbon tie. So I'm just going to pull out a piece here, kind of wrap it around to see how thick I need to make it. This isn't quite dry here. or how long I need to make it actually. It's probably good just eyeballing it here. Just want it, I want it to be even so I'm going to hold it like that. Kind of want it in the middle so I go ahead and turn it over here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue and stick this down. Go ahead and turn it over here and make sure that it's where I want it to be. I think that's good. All right. Now I have a background piece that I want to put. And I cut this the same as the front cover, so three and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I'm going to corner around these edges. And glue it down. Now every time you add a layer, of cardstock or paper on top of what your base is, you're really just enforcing the sturdiness of it. I think my cardstock base is like an 80 pound, or it's either 65 or 80. I think it's an 80 pound because it's a little bit thicker. It's not quite 110. Put that down there. Make sure my front is staying down. Yeah. Okay, so now I... To make the pocket, I 
cut this out. It's a little bit bigger than what I need right now. So what I'm going to do is do some, let's see, I can't remember if I folded, no, I didn't fold these. So I pretty much just trimmed this down to fit on the back here. So I cut it as close as I could because the heart is pretty big. So you kind of have to trim it down right to the edge. So I'm just gonna use my trimmer and go as close as I can without cutting into those little hearts. Maybe about an eighth of an inch away from the side. And then, so it's about four, it's four inches now, and then let me see, I know I trimmed a little bit off so you could actually see the sides of the paper, so I'm going to trim a little bit more off this side, I have just a little bit of wiggle room, not much though. <laughs> hardly any space left there. There. And then I'll trim just a tiny bit off the bottom here. And then a little bit off the top. So it's about four, four by three and seven eighths, I think. And then I have a little piece of this strip that I'm going to glue on the top just to kind of finish it off. So it has a little bit of a different pattern. Trim it even here. The next thing I'm going to do, I have this little acetate clear bag. I'm just going to cut it down Then I just need one, one sheet of it that's the size of a square or bigger than this heart. It just has to be able to cover the heart. I'm just cutting it down here. So now I have the piece of acetate, Let's see if you can see that. I'm just going to put some glue around the edge of the heart and stick the acetate down on top of it. And I can actually go around this the outside here. And you just want to let that dry a little bit and then we can stick it down on the back here for our pocket. So I will do that later, but I'll go on to the inside of our folio or we'll finish out the outside and then go into the inside. So just let that dry. Now I covered my flap. going to use this here. I'm going to do a corner round on these two corners where the corner rounder, the corner rounding is on the base part of the folio. I just kind of want to mimic that. And this again, I just cut a little bit smaller than this part of the flap. And since I scored it, 
a quarter inch at the wrong spot it's a little bit bigger of a border <laughs> I'll show you here so this should the score line should be over a little bit but that's okay you know what I think I can fix this hey yeah I'm gonna fix it okay so this is how we're gonna fix it I just need to score go over one quarter of an inch And then I'm going to cover it with my paper anyway, so. Just need to go over to here. I think that'll work. There. That's good. So I have this, that's what I'm going to use because I didn't have the stripe. So I'm just going to cover that up, won't see much of that. Score mark, but that's it. Maybe a little on the inside, I could probably cover the inside too, so alrighty. And I think my pocket has dried enough, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Let's move this out of the way here. Make sure I'm in frame. And then for the pocket, all I did was put glue on three sides, the bottom, the two sides, and that is it. right down there and I'll just need to let that dry but just makes a really cute pocket there kind of squeezed out on the side there but that's okay Now working our way on the inside, I'm just going to cover these three, I'm actually going to cover all of them. On, on the first one I made, I did not cover these two, but since I messed up the score line there, I'm going to cover that up. So, that's this, and I used, so I have this piece of paper, it's embossed already, it's a Valentine paper, um, so I'm going to use this, and this is my die, so I'm just going to lay this down like that. and run it through my machine. Let's go a couple times through here. And then I'm just going to trim it down. So 
So I obviously can't use this whole piece. So what this does is that it cuts out the I love you part and leaves some score marks. So what you need to do is fold up the top part, these top parts, and then there's a second scoring that you fold down. And then this part, let's see, this is folded towards you like that. So that when you fold, when your card folds, it is three dimensional. This part goes back. And then I am just going to trim this down to the top here and then just below where these are folded. And I'm going to glue that to another piece. I have a piece of card here. I think that's what I did. What I did, actually I did use this piece. I'm really confusing myself, I'm sorry. All right, so I have this piece. It's three and three quarter by five and three quarters. And I'm gonna use it to make a little card that I will glue into here that is tied up with this. So I just wanna trim this down to line up and glue to this piece and it will fold right where this is folded so that when you open it, it looks like that. So hopefully you saw that, sorry. Okay, you can like fast forward through this part. <laughs> All right, okie dokie. So I'm going to trim it down to just above the little heart here. And then I'm going to go three and three quarters. Like that. Go ahead and corner around these edges. I'm going to score it, score my bottom, <coughs> this darker pink here, right where this, so it looks like two and a quarter. So I'm going to score this at two and a quarter. And that's where this is going to be folding down. Go ahead and crease that. And I can leave this here. I think I will just go ahead and leave that spot there and I'll just cover it then. So this will be glued on. glue these pieces here and then the bottom and the rest of it is just floating because that's the part that folds. Just want to set it down in there, make sure it's folded up.
And then if you fold it over, that'll get it all creased nice and tight. So when you open it, it just looks nice. Just like that. Love that. And then trim. No, that's going to be glued. Or no, it's not going to be glued. But I'm going to cover that up with... I have a piece of this. So I'm going to quarter round that. And just cover that up. I'm going to do the same with my ribbon. So I'm going to go from top to bottom. So I'm going to glue my ribbon down here. First, let's see how much I need. That's probably good. That's probably about two feet, I think. So we'll go in. Make sure it's even here. That's good. And I'll just put some glue down here. And then I'm going to glue this down, just the bottom section. So I still want to be able to open up my flap here. And that'll go right down in the center in between the two cup striped papers just hold that down like that and then I'll just tie up that super cute <clears throat> and then the last part is our little treat little tag treat box on the left side so I have this piece of paper that I'm going to use to do that let's clear off some of this mess I swear do you guys just have a mess by the time you're done crafting <laughs> Ah, we have a nice clean surface and now it is a disaster. All right, so this piece is all together, which I love. And I'm just gonna do that. If you are interested in any of these dies, I will put the links down below, of course. 
comes from Life's Crafts. Ended up being a little tiny bit crooked, but that's okay. But it's fine because it's a patterned paper, so it'll be all good. So it cuts it out like that, and it leaves little score marks that you just have to fold and glue together. So now I'm just going to fold these pieces in. Really easy. There and here. So all those pieces are folded in and then you just go ahead and glue, put some glue here and here. Take the bone fold your bone folder and kind of go in there and push the ends down, especially down at this part down there. Pick which side you like the best. I'm gonna pick on this side. Before I glue it down, I'm going to put some ribbon in. I have some of this Valentine's Day ribbon. It says Happy Valentine's Day. I think it was from Michael's. So I'm just going to do a double knot up here. Now if you were using it separate, you could tie, there's holes on both sides, so you could tie it together to keep it together, but since I'm using this as a pocket, I don't want to tie it together. I'm going to be gluing this side down to the back. So I'm just going to tie the ribbon on the front for a little decoration. And I'm just going to do a double knot here with my ribbon. And, oops, a double knot. <laughs> double knot again because my fingers are kind of fumbling around here. All right, there we go. Valentine's Day. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna glue this down. Let's see. I want to decorate this. So I have this came with the coffee die, coffee cup die, and let's see. I have this. These all came with the coffee cup die that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to use those to cut out a heart and the you and me. So let's see here. I think I'll use this. 
That's not quite big enough. Let's see. I have this. No. I'll use this for the words. And then here's some of this left over. I'm going to use that for the heart. And the small one, I will just use the pink. Go ahead and run that through here. If you don't have one of these Sizzix machines, I love them. Um, I use mine a lot. I also have a Cricut and I use it a lot too. So it's just a different kind of cutting out. Like the dies you can get like, for me this would be hard to do with the Cricut. This tiny of letters because I don't know I just always have problems doing the super super intricate on my Cricut but then of course you're buying more I mean but isn't that the crafting <laughs> life is having all of our crafting products but I just love I love the Sizzix <clears throat> all right let's get these out okay so heart. I'm going to put him down here so I, I don't want to cover up that little dog there. And then I need to get my pop this heart out. So you'll need a pin. Fortunately these come with the little tiny holes so you can poke out since it's not a die that has the, that you can that makes the frame. So I'm going to put that heart right here, like that, and then my lettering. Oops. So there's a U, and get those popped out so I'm going to glue my hearts on first and then glue the letters down that really cute love it Now if you have one of those little pen, glue pen things, that's where this would come in handy because the tacky glue, or if you have like a, preci a precision tip on your glue, that would be handy with these little tiny die cuts. I have a pre precision tip on my, I have some uh, art glitter glue that I could be using on this, it would be easier, but I just have my tacky glue out right now. Alright, almost done guys, hopefully you stuck with me here. If you did, leave a comment down below. Alright, here we go. Actually, 
if you stuck with me all the way through here, um, leave a comment down below and tell me that you did. And I am going to be giving away one of these little folios. I'm going to stick some, uh, I'm just doing this on a whim now. So if you've, if you made it through and you made it to this part, leave a comment down below say, saying that you made it through to the end. And I will send you one of these folios. And I will put in some goodies, Valentine goodies for you. And yeah, hopefully, um, I guess. Yeah, it should be fine. I think I will I will send it to international. So either way, um, if if you're able to receive mail from the United States, um, leave a comment down below and I will send this to you. I think I'm going to cover this. I have this piece here, so I'm just cut it. Wait, that one doesn't fit. Let's see. I'll use, oh wait, here I do have a piece left over. This works, okay. I'm just gonna cover this part since we have that extra little score mark. And we are going to be done with this. I'll show you. And I think maybe I want to cover that part too. So I'm going to use this. Cut one little more, one more piece here. And we will be done. So if you leave a comment down below, I will draw the names out of those people that said that they made it all the way through to the end of the video. And then I will get this sent out to you and hopefully it makes it to you before Valentine's Day. If not, you'll still have something to enjoy. Alrighty, so there is our little folio and then hopefully, you know, if you end up winning this, you can fill it with whatever. I will stick, I will make like a um, couple tags to put in it and some other goodies, but then you can like either keep it for yourself or you can give it to a friend or a loved one or whatever. So yeah, so then... I'll just show you here. I have a couple little goodies that I stuck in the back of this. So that's clear in there. So I stuck that in there. Very cute. Alrighty. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you made it be sure to leave a comment and yeah. So Leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell, and you will be notified of when I come out with more videos. And go ahead and check out Life's Crafts. You can find all those links down below and also keep pound code for you. And sure, see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.